Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to all of you. Today I'm going to share a workaround in present and record in Canva. We're going to present with Canva but use an alternative way to record the presentation, your presentation. So let's have a look here. Yeah? I'm going, this is actually done in Canva. So I'm going to head to the next slide. Okay, so this is um, present record in Loom. So Loom is one of these screen recording that you can use to uh, record your uh, Canva. And here I put also a voiceover because I receive a lot of um, messages in my YouTube channel asking for what if I want to present and uh, just record a voiceover. I don't want to have this, this face here. So um, let me show you what I can do, uh, what you can do in Loom. Yeah? Uh, to, be, to be honest, I'm not affiliated with Loom. I receive uh, a Loom premium account because I'm an educator. But apart from that, I'm just sharing a um, feature in Loom, which I feel may be quite useful for you, especially if you just want to, rec to, to use Canva because Canva has a generous amount of uh, beautiful assets you can use. Um, and when you combine with Loom, it makes it very, very nice. I, I don't know. I, I love it, basically. So um, in this case, uh, I'm heading to my picture here. Yeah. So um, at the bottom, I think you can see um, there's these three little dots. Yeah. And in there, there's an option whereby at the moment, I think I'm in, in this uh, circle size. And I can, of course, make it bigger. Uh, and then I can make it like the whole webcam. Yeah. Uh, I switched to uh, the small circle. And of course, one more thing, what's wonderful is that I can move it around. So if I want to put it like next to Canva, I can, of course, I can do that. Yeah. So now I'm actually next to Canva or I can actually put it next to Loom. So now I'm actually, the circle is next to Loom. And let's go back to here. Or can put it in somewhere in the middle as well. I have the freedom to, to be where I am on the slide. And uh, the only thing you can't do is to resize it into smaller circle. Uh, that's, I think, a uh, restriction or limitation in, in Loom. And uh, if you like to do a, um, a voiceover, uh, you can, of course, switch it off. Just click on X. And now I am recording, um, you know, a presentation using um, Loom, but without the camera on. So I can keep on talking about this present and record, uh, use my Canva, and then keep on presenting. When you have finished presenting uh, using the voiceover feature without the webcam, yeah, you can simply head to the stop button. Or of course, you can restart if you want to restart. Or you can pause. yeah. If you have a call or something, you can click pause. And let's do that. I'm coming back and resume the video. And of course, you can cancel it if you don't want to, you know, the video to be added to your um, uh, to your storage in Loom. And there's also a draw uh, feature. Let's try that. I honestly, I haven't tried this one. Uh, of course, let's just try something like that. The blue, uh, make it slightly bigger so you can see. And let's just draw. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, using the um, particular this uh, mouse um, but I guess I probably wouldn't use this so much in a sense I would probably um, just click done I would probably more uh, use this if I want to uh, use my Canva for my presentation for my lecture for my keynote presentation and then I record it uh, on Loom and if you know if I couldn't say, say I couldn't make it to the conference, but I still want the conference audience to, to watch my presentation. Then I can just record with Loom. Yeah. So let me share another slide of mine. And you know, 
I think sometimes when we present online uh, or present using um, a remote meeting app, uh, the problem would be that our face would actually cover the, the text. So in this case, I would suggest that you try to move uh, the video, your your insert, yeah, your video insert to somewhere which just wouldn't that wouldn't cover the logo or wouldn't cover the text or title, so that your audience can see you. And that is one way to engage with the audience. Even though between you know having the video uh, or an audio, the audio is more critical. You know, if when you present something, it be better to have a really clear audio a clear voice over but uh, when you have the video on even though like this very small you know that would uh, in a sense engage your audience better so it would be nice to have both if you feel um, okay with that if you feel comfortable with that all right so i also would like to show here uh, if you head over to loom and you click on that three button yeah uh, this one, uh, let me just see, what's this? Oh, if that is if I want to switch photo. Um, and then uh, let me switch back to my video. Uh, the little GIF, do you see that? That little GIF? If I click on this, I have some really cool, um, like a decoration. Can you see that? If I choose to be, say, uh, celebrate, you know, my friend's uh, birthday or there's another celebration at the office and so on. I can use this to give a video uh, to them. Uh, since nowadays during the pandemic, we are unable to be there in person. So, um, right. So if you don't want, if you want to switch back to normal, you can always go back to that gift and click none and click on use frame. Right, uh, let me, so this is with Canva. Uh, you can also do, since it will record anything on your uh, screen, it can also do a PowerPoint. So let's head to PowerPoint. So that's my PowerPoint. Let me play that. Okay, so that's my PowerPoint uh, course, PowerPoint on the go, five simple tips, and I can move on to the next one. And um, since that one is not so nice, I'm going to get there and put it somewhere there that looks better in a sense. And then talk about it. Talk about using design ideas, a new feature, or uh, rather not so new, sorry, a recent feature in PowerPoint that you can use to enhance the look and appeal of your PowerPoint. Uh, and I think especially good for if you're going to address a professional audience. All right, so just stay on a few more minutes. Let me show you how you can quickly set up Loom to record your screen. All right, in this last bit of the video, let me share how you can quickly set up uh, Loom once you have downloaded and installed on your computer. So in a Mac or window, uh, here I'm using a Mac, I would see the icon um, Loom on my top. Yeah? And uh, you can always, if you go to head to your uh, computer uh, apps and that's Loom, you can click on that as well. I'm going to head here. Uh, it's much easier for me in a sense. So in Loom, the first thing you see, that's you can see my, my video there already. Yeah, I'm going to uh, move it a bit to the middle, uh, yeah, into the into the uh, slide a little bit. So in, in Loom, you have two options. One, you can use a video. Another one, you can use a screenshot beta. You can just take a screenshot quickly. Uh, let's choose the video. So every time you choose a video, you actually first set up where you want the video there. Um, if you uh, don't want to use the video, you can click on screen only. Yeah, because since we're going to actually, this video is about uh, voiceover and screen only and keep it at, at full screen. And with the recording settings, meaning that once you choose screen only, it'll be, um, there's no video, there's no face camera required at all. So if you uh, prefer to have a face, um, face time or your face recorded during your presentation, you can always go back to this one and click, yeah, click on screen and camera 
and always it'll appear that that way yeah you can always click none and the video disappear and you can see now uh, my microphone is active i can select a microphone uh, here uh, i can even use my built-in microphone if i want to so for a voiceover the microphone is extremely important yeah so once you set up you can always before you click on start recording you can always go to auto to select the quality or the resolution of your video uh, recording um, since the voice is recorded by the microphone you need to select the recording of the screen and uh, you would always go for one of the highest which is 1080 yeah you can always choose also 720 um, that's i think would be the lower resolution of the hd um, if your computer permits it you can go higher uh, 4k as well if you want to but i'll stick to 1080 or 720 uh, at least 720 i'm going to go for 1080 and then i'll go start recording okay okay and then what i do next after the countdown is i go to the bottom here it says present full screen and i can record my voiceover on this presentation um, so once you have finished recording uh, you can then head to you can click on like this i i'm i there's only two slides in here so you can navigate the slide using the on-screen uh, feature on canva and once you have finished recording your voice uh, you head to the uh, loom um, you know the the stop button and i can then stop recording okay so in here what happens is that in loom uh, it's the recording will be uh, on a website if you see here there's on the side here there's personal there's shared there's team so you can head to your personal if you want to later if you want to retrieve your recording later the recording i did just now will be available almost straight away once loom has finished process it so in here, um, you see the play button, you can play it. Um, and then there's also the uh, speed of the uh, video. Yeah, one time, 1.5, twice, and it tells you how long is the recording duration. Uh, on the side, I don't think you need to really do it anything else. You can always process it later if you want to trim the video. You can add a call to action, yeah, and you can add thumbnail and so on. Uh, at the bottom will be the reactions or the emoticons. Uh, here, I think especially good if you plan to um, only yeah, uh, share the link. So in here, you can copy the video link. Um, if you click on this one, this is where you can select the preferences, whether you want to allow it to be public, uh, whether you want to uh, only share the video with specific people. And lastly, to keep it private, meaning you only show the video to yourself. Yeah, you don't allow anyone else to see it. Uh, I'm For the moment, I'm going to keep it private. Yeah. Just keep it there as it is. You can also protect it, all right, as well. Uh, if you choose specific people, you can then add emails of the person. And what happens is that the, the, the person that you added the email here will receive the link to watch the video, okay? And of course, if you keep it public, uh, you can straight away share the, the video link, yeah? If you click on this, you can copy the video link. And uh, you can also choose whether you want to allow um, the search engine to index your video. Uh, I think especially according to the, um, according to the uh, title uh, that you put down there as well. And protect it. So when you share the link and you would also share the password maybe through another um, social messenger like WhatsApp or um, 
others, you know, um, then you can uh, make sure that uh, only uh, it's still public. It can perhaps be uh, searched over by people, but only certain people can view it, the people with the password. Yeah. Right. The important part in Loom is that little three dots, um, especially if you want to archive it. Yeah. You can, of course, delete the video if you're not happy about it or you feel it's probably not even uh, of use anymore. Uh, the part that I'd like to highlight here is uh, you can download it as an MP4, which I tend to use it if I want to say, um, you know, put together uh, a few videos, a few short videos as a part of a a larger video to stitch them together that would be nice yeah uh, the option of um, uh, to download the, the this particular uh, loom video you can of course duplicate it yeah uh, this is you can of course ask uh, people to edit it if you want to you can move it to your folder you can have different folders re rename it uh, you, if you have a team you uh, I think especially for pro if you have a pro account, uh, you can share your video with the team. They can watch it. They can edit it and, and so on. And you can add a star. I think that's um, uh, more or less about it. Let, let, let me see share. You can share link as is in here. You can sh uh, link it as a GIF. You can use embed code. And you can share with the uh, social media uh, app as well. And Gmail. This is really cool. Yeah. Okay, so at the bottom here, what you can do, you can click and then uh, edit. It's not new feature. I'm going to edit. Okay. Press enter. That's fine. It gives you that my name, my account's name, the date, and you can also always add description, especially when you want to share with your students, with your audience, your your team as well. Yeah. Okay, uh, so yep, uh, that's about it. If you really want to watch, you can watch this. I go to the bottom here, it says present full screen. Sounds good, yeah. You can uh, step forward if you want to. You can adjust uh, accordingly the volume, uh, increase the speed. Just one. And I can record mine. All right, that's cool. Theatre mode, make it bigger like that a bit more uh, you know rectangular and PIP if you want to do something else on your screen you can always watch the video on the side uh, then escape that yep I think uh, that's uh, about it this video is about a, a workaround using uh, Loom to record your presentation if you particularly want to simply use a voiceover and you can see it's really quick and easy to do it. I'll be sharing more tips and tricks on uh, presentations uh, using different apps. And uh, I see you in the next video.